the first thing you're going to want to do is take some masking tape and tape your piece of paper down on the table. To prevent the tape from being too sticky and ripping your paper when you remove it, remove a little bit of the stickiness by placing the tape on a piece of clothing several times, like shown. Taping the edges of the paper will give you a nice border on your finished piece and will keep the paper steady while you cover it in wax. You can also use washi tape, which is less sticky and made for this purpose. You can use a pencil to roughly sketch out your design so you know roughly where the colours are going to go, or you can place your colours down randomly. Make sure to use some vibrant, bright colours so that they show up well against the black wax that you're going to use over them. Use a brush periodically to wipe away excess wax. This works a little bit better than your hands, as the heat from your hand can tend to melt the wax. Take care at the corners and edges of your piece that you don't rip the masking tape or washi tape. When you are finished, rub away all excess wax. Next, cover your entire drawing with black wax crayon. When you are finished, again, rub away any excess crayon. You can use many implements to scratch out your drawing, such as a pen, a toothpick, or a coin. Make sure to periodically clean your implement to keep your lines sharp. My favourite tool to use was the outer casing of a biro. Simply remove the inner tube with the ink and then use very much like a regular pen. If you decide to do a still life or a portrait with this technique, remember that your marks represent where the light is in the image. This is the opposite to how you would usually shade using a pencil. You can also use masking tape to clean up excess crayon shavings. You can also lay your colours down randomly and make sure to experiment with lots of different implements that could create different textures and patterns on the wax.